Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today I am the first time after my illness outdoors again and I can't wait till I can start outdoors making a camp, making a fire, sleeping in the woods. I can't wait to start. It is like come back to the place where it happens. So I'm very excited um, for this first trip after the long time being away from the nature. And if you want, you can accompany me. Let's go. Judas ear mushroom. It is a heal uh, mushroom. It cleans the blood. And Chinese they say mu ear mushroom. So um, it is not so good if you eat a mushroom directly because um, your stomach had a lot of problems with with this. But um, I eat them direct from the tree. They taste like nothing. But um, yeah, they are very good, very good um, healing mushroom. The Judas ear is one of my favorite mushroom because they are so good. Not the taste, but the healing effect. And it is on a winter mushroom, that means that you can collect them in the cold months. In the summer they are also there but they are not growing and they are very small. They only get big and voluminous when, um, when they get wet. So then they are very big and in this consistence like you see it before. At first I thought I start my trip there where it ends the last time. Here in the background you can see my shelter from my last trip. Here at this point I find out that um, I've got an infection from a tick. But today it is a little bit, um, it is changed, the situation has changed because it is eight weeks ago since I was here and now all the leaves are at the ground and you can hear the noise from the street in this area much louder because the leaves they um, yeah they collect the noises so you don't hear it so loud 
but now they are all at the ground and it sounds like the street is very close to my camp. What is not true, but it sounds so. And um, at the other part, my noises that I make, like saw or working with the axe, is very loud outside of the wood. So because of this, I make the decision that I go a little bit deeper into the wood and start there a new camp. So it is better when the snow is falling because snow also collects the noises. It is um, very silent when the snow lay at the ground and at the trees, but this is not yet. So I had to start at another point new. So I will build my camp here. This is not the best place because at the camp with the shelter there is everything green from the moss and here it is brown and brown everywhere, the brown color. So the typical color after the sunny days of the fall and before the snow came. So um, I prefer green places but I took, I choose what, I, what I've got. When I learned something in the last weeks that I make at every out of every situation the best. So and I make the best out of the situation. I am away from the street because I don't go outside to hear the whole time on the street. Then I can uh, lay me at a um, park and camp there. No, I want to have the silence on the nature. And I had a lot of wood here around that wood where I which um, I can use to build something, so I will stay there. Today is everything um, a little different because today I don't make my camp at first. I had something special to eat with me what needs a long time and um, much heat from the fire. So because of this I search today at first firewood, make firewood, make a campfire place and then I've built my camp.
I see this gray button here at the ground, at the earth. It is, um, it is hair and bones. And this is a typical sign that this is the area from an owl, because the owl hunt the mouse and eat it complete with all, but the bones and the hair um, cannot go through their um, orchards, uh, to their stomach. So this part here comes out of the mouth again. And yeah, this is a sign that here live an owl. And I'm very happy about that because I love the noise from an owl in the night. Someone find it creepy, but me not. I love this noise. Before I build the camp, I always check out the possibilities where I can build what. So my plan is to make my, my camp, my sleeping area here behind these two trees. And here come my fireplace because here is a little natural hole in the ground. And I always check out where I um, build what before I started because maybe later you find out that the campfire place is direct at your way where you had to move and it is always better to plan before um, yeah it makes it later a lot easier The leaves are now away, it is all wet, the wall area is wet, so I don't have to be too much careful. Of course, you had always to protect your fire and check out and make a safety area around, but in the winter time it is much easier. So I make now a bed out of those branches that my tinder nest, tinder nest is not wet at the beginning and yeah here on top came now my, my tinder nest and then I can start the fire.
I will cut now with the striker from my fire steel a little bit here in the birch bark because this is in perfect natural tinder and also a little bit of moya stick and that was it. I am now above the critical time with the fire. When I start the fire the first time is always not so easy because you had always take care for the fire that it don't go out again. When it is out it is not so easy to start it again so I prefer stay at the fire and take care about it. And now I had a little um, bit of amber at the ground and this is the time where I can go away to work and this is what I want to do now, so let's start. I had a lot of these small branches and I put this here under my firewood, what you can see here in the background, so my firewood will not be wet from the ground and it will burn um, better later. As I make firewood, I was searching for um, for something like this because I want to build a construction for my food. I will heat it over the fire and I make this here. It is not so easy because I had no tree stump here in this area. They are only old and rotten and I can't work at a rotten tree stump. So I had to work it at a fallen tree and this is not so easy because the underground is not even. So um, I can um, crush away with, with this branch and this is not so nice because it is um, very dangerous that an accident happened like this.
while I was making firewood um, before I hold my eyes open because I need something like this because I want to make a construction um, which that I can cook over the fire. Today I have for dinner roasted chicken over the campfire. It is the first time I roast a complete chicken over the campfire. So um, yeah, let's see how it works. The chicken is now over the fire and actually it holds, but later when the meat is um, um, longer over the fire it will be softener and then the chicken doesn't hold at the branch and I can't roast both sides. So I had to put two small branches, one from this side and the other from this side, through the chicken that it holds better. It is too late and too much work for today, but tomorrow I want to build here a shelter. Um, I will begin the ground construction now, but in the winter months, um, yeah, the sunlight is so 
so fast away and I can't work so much as I want. So I want to make a lean two shelter and with this tree here um, I want to start the ground construction. I will cut it in the correct length that I can fix it here between those two trees um, without hurting the barge, um, the barge bug. So I had to be careful. Um, and yeah, I tried now and let's see how much I can work today and the rest will be for tomorrow. Um, I always use places like this not only once because I want to build some more than a little bit and uh, so I use this place two, three, four times and every time I'm here I can build more. Um, so uh, this is better for me as only build a little bit and then leave the next day. So tomorrow I can start early when the sunlight comes out and um, build a little bit for the next time where I sleep there. I hate to say this um, and I hate to realize the situation. Um, you know, I was very ill and this is my first bushcraft trip after the illness. And um, I am not at the point now where I mean that I be at this time from the day. So it is dark now and I had no camp. Of course I can um, fix my top now and put my sleeping bag under the top but then it is six o'clock and eating is done and I lay in the backpack and this is not what I want at a bushcraft trip or when I spend the night in the woods. So I'm not so fit as I thought. Um, I work much more slowly than um, I work when I am healthy. So my plan is now pack my stuff, um, put my chicken over the shoulder and go home. Put the chicken in the oven. Oh, I had to put it in the oven when I had when I have the chance to have a chicken from the campfire. Sleep in my bed and tomorrow with full energy I want to go outside again and start again the there where I um, end today finished the camp, have a new chicken with me and um, yeah, start the next day with more energy. Really I had to say, I hate to say this, but I am honestly and I show you everything also when it doesn't work like I thought. Um, I don't want to show always the sunny side. Um, I also want to show my mistakes and it was a mistake that I thought that I am so fit and I am not. So tomorrow with full energy again. So 
so I am back home now. Um, pack my my stuff away and check the video scenes that I've done uh, today in the wood. And I'm so disappointed from me and from my body that it doesn't work so like I thought. So I had a plan before I go outside what I want to do and what I want to show. And um, I had not only the half of this plan done. So I'm so disappointed and this is what, not what I want to show you. Because I know that every one of you is waiting for bushcraft videos and this is not what you want to see. Um, but I want to show you every part of my life and not everything is always happen like I planned or I thought and not every side of life is sunshine. So I want to show you the other part too and you know I was so ill and after the Lyme disease I had also um, a an virus infect at the beginning of this week and my body is not so fit like I thought so I think I need a little bit more time to heal and more time to rest till I have again enough energy to make um, a full overnighter and full bushcraft overnighter. So and uh, while I was sitting here and uh, thought about the situation I make the decision that I go not tomorrow again outside at this place and start the video new because I want to make some I want to make it not half, I want to make it complete and this is not what I want to show you and this is not um, this is not the right decision for me. So many of you ask me about the cabin in the woods, if I still have the cabin and why I don't show videos from the cabin anymore and because of this I make the decision that I make an overnight at the cabin tomorrow of course with you and the camera and I want to show you the new stuff and what my plans are for the future and what has changed after the last video and um, this is something that I with that my body can handle so I'm fit enough for that but um, yeah you see I'm not fit enough for bushcraft video but I think when the um, the last signs of the virus infection are away. Um, I can start next week again and make a bushcraft video like you hope to. I'm sure that many of you are also disappointed because you wanted to see a bushcraft video and then I show you this. And um, this is not what anybody wants to see. Because of this um, I want to give my body a few weeks, uh, a few days to heal and next week I will show you a bushcraft video like you know it from the past. So I, I want it, my brain wants it and my body doesn't make this what I want. This makes me really angry but I can't change it. So and I hope you Stay tuned and I hope you are still there and subscribe me. Um, after all those weeks with the illness and no videos and no bushcraft videos, um, I'm very happy that you are still there and that you don't go away in this time. And um, I hope you are there. Still I make a bushcraft video next week. So sorry that I disappointed you. Um, I hope it is better than the next days. So please stay tuned and we see us at the cabin overnight. Have a good time. Bye bye.